Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna be making a gradient heat map text effect like this. I had people on Instagram ask me how I did the type in this poster, so I wanted to finally make a tutorial on it. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, we're just gonna get started here in Photoshop. It's gonna be a super easy tutorial. I'm using Noya Haas Grotesque for the font, but feel free to use any font. All right, what we're gonna do is actually make our text like this gray color, somewhere around there, like 50%, maybe a little bit of shade of blue, something like that should work. I'm just gonna write, gradient heat map and actually stack it like that let's do type something like that now let's just resize this now what we're going to do here is turn this background black what we're going to do now is duplicate this so we have a source one to edit untoggle it go here convert to a smart object so what we're going to do now is go to filter noise add noise and just do about like a eight percent something like that just a little bit the next thing you're going to go here to filter blur Gaussian blur for now we'll do this at about 35 so now you can already see we kind of have this like blurry text going on what we're gonna do now is apply our gradient you can go here to gradient map I'm gonna paste in one that I had from before but you can download exograde or by black market or the gradient map pack from album art archive either of those work but we're gonna paste in the one I use which is this one we'll actually reverse this So now that we have our gradient map here, you can see the effect already taking place. What I'm gonna do is adjust this Gaussian blur a little bit. I think I'd want it a little bit less. Now let's do 28. When you scale this, it changes it. So make sure to adjust your blur. That's looking pretty good. You can already see the start of this effect and you can leave it at that there. If you wanna take this to another level, we can make this a little bit more 3D using Illustrator. So we'll head over to Illustrator real quick to create our 3D text and bring that in. So we're gonna create our same text in here real quick. Adjust this a bit, bring that right about there. And let's make this our gray color. All right, and now we're gonna just copy this. We'll grab the top one and lock it. Then grab this bottom one and scale it down a bit. I actually made a full video about this going a little bit more in depth. You can watch that, I'll link it below. Something right about there and we'll make this a darker gray. All right, unlock all. Grab all of this, bring it over as a copy. We'll save this one over here. Now what we're gonna do is just expand this all. Grab the blend tool, click here, and then click in the back. There's that blend. We double click in there to adjust it. Specified steps, I think we'll do 400. There we go. Now you see we kind of have this cool like 3D effect. Now what we're gonna do is expand this, ungroup it, grab just this top layer, lock it now what we're gonna do is grab the back part group it copy it and bring it back into here we're gonna go edit paste in place smart object there's our back piece go back in here and make sure everything's unlocked and grab our top one we'll copy that same thing paste in place smart object and then just line this up Right about there is good. Now this part, super easy. Grab the curves in between the two. Bring that down a little bit. Clipping mask, just to create, see that shadow gets a little darker. All right. Now all we gotta do is group all of this. Bring it into our gradient map. You see it's already applied here. That looks even cool itself. Another way to do it without the heat map, just a cool gradient effect. And then we just apply our same ones from here. So we'll duplicate that, make it into a smart object, add the noise, and then add the Gaussian blur. There you go. There we go, and we can adjust the blur if we want, like something like that. That's looking pretty cool. We can even go back into our type right here and bring down the curves a little bit more, like right about there. Save that. That'll give us a little bit more visibility. Here's the final design, a gradient heat map text effect. You can get the project file on Patreon and I'll link that below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna learn how to make some more stuff, you can watch either of these videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.